North Minneapolis staple served its last drink over the weekend. After nearly four decades, the 4th Street Saloon is closed. As Reg Chapman reports, the new owner is planning something different to bring the community together. This is the entry to the corridor. This is really West Broadway. This is the beginning of it. Mike Oker was general manager of the 4th Street Saloon for the past 25 years. And when he learned owner Greg Hedgewood was going to sell, he went directly to another north side business owner, Tito Wilson. I wanted it to go to somebody that was going to do something that was going to enhance North Minneapolis. I thought about this space as being a great space where we can introduce more food options here. His vision, the first food hall in North Minneapolis with fun that's more family friendly. Let's, say, let's just say in between four to six different food vendors here. Also, there's going to be a bar. He is also planning a dining area upstairs so people could eat while enjoying live entertainment. I mean, a place where they can just come, sit down, dine, bring their family, bring their kids, grandparents, whomever. You know, we want to create a safe space for people to be able to dine right here in North Minneapolis. Safety has been an issue in the past for this area of North Minneapolis. We, we did cater to a younger crowd, so we had issues that came along with that. Gun violence played the area around the saloon for years, but through it all, it stood for community, sponsoring events to bring people together. The past owner beams with pride when talking about all that made this place special, like the bar built in 1917. Well, it's uh Madagascar mahogany, which is almost unheard of anymore, and it's the longest bar in the state, 52 feet. Whiskey barrel staves, they're all charred in the back side of them for charring the whiskey. Now it's time for a new vision, a new beginning for this corridor of North Minneapolis. If we want for West Broadway and North Minneapolis to be live, those of us that live here and work here and invest here, we have to be the ones that do it. Reg Chapman, WCCO News. Tito Wilson hopes to have his Northside food hall up and running by the summer of 2025.